So it's challenging because there's no comparison, you know, direct comparison of the three products. I think you want to think of things such as, uh, you know, performance status and the ability of those patients to tolerate severe toxicities if they were to occur. It's very challenging to compare the three uh, products across trials for large cell lymphoma. They've been done at different time periods. The grading of CRS has been different across the studies. Uh, the threshold for using things like tocilizumab and steroids probably varied across the studies. The patients that were enrolled uh, are, are inherently different based on the use of bridging therapy in some studies versus others. So it remains a challenge to really compare these. I think most of us feel comfortable giving axicaptogene for younger patients with better performance status, and particularly those with very aggressive disease. It seems as if those pa patients treated with axicaptogene have a higher overall response rate, and maybe they uh, have more durable responses long term, but it, again, hard to compare across trials. So we're using axicaptogene largely for the younger, more healthy patient data from other studies really says that it is safe and effective to use latermavir in that scenario, and that it may even be better than some of the things we were using historically like high-dose valley cyclovir.